Hit Could it. just open up the door. Well. <laughs> As you can see, I got my 23 by 10, 5, 12 Firestone uh, flotations. My drive belt is fixing to get installed. The electric fuel pump, I forgot to show you that, that's also installed. So this thing starts a lot easier. What was that, Hunter? Yep. Sure are. Now uh, we're gonna fix we're gonna fix the headlights. We're going to get the drive belt finished up and do an oil change and just some other little things on this thing and she'll be ready to go. So I'll give you guys more updates when we're uh, making more progress. So it's much, 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 much later in the day. As you can see we have some cloud cover and it's starting to rain and stuff like that. Um, there's the uh, 85 crew cab sitting outside. This is waiting on uh, injector li uh, injection lines, but uh, enough about that. On to the Sears. So, as you guys saw from earlier, we changed out the drive belt. So it now has a new drive belt. The old one was pretty shot. We did an electric fuel pump. Like you saw, it now runs great. We fixed the headlights. Headlights are working. Tail lights working. Um, still runs good. Um, got the tires on there. And the wheel weights are on. My plow is on. My new long handled black three point hitch is on and it's working. Go ahead and show you this real quick. So there you go. We now have the long handle black three point hitch. Oh, uh, what else did we do? I think that's pretty much all we did. Oh, we did an oil change. I got a fresh Onan oil filter on it. And I believe that's all I did. And I believe that's all that's been done. And uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Oh, that's all you, can, that's all you get. A little sneak peek of something. So that's all you get. That's the only sneak peek you get. You get. But also, we also have the wheel horse. With the two seats on it. And that's for Jason and his kid. Also, Jason got the roper running, but it ran out of gas. The roper's out of gas, unfortunately, out back in the woods, so he's gonna have to go and tow that up with the horse. Um, you guys also haven't seen this in a while. Don't worry, I still have it. Uh, I'd start it, but the battery is dead, so I'll have to jump it. So maybe I'll get a clip of that. But, um, here's another little sneak peek. Oh, that, that's all you get. Don't worry, we got something big coming here after plow day. Something really, really big after plow day. You guys might leave your guesses in the comments down below as to what, uh, what do you think you just saw? It is tractor related. And that's all I'm gonna say. So, I think that's pretty much all I have to uh, report from here. I think I'll uh, finish this video off when I go home with a cold start of the uh, 
other 19.9, and then we'll, we'll uh, win the video off there. So I'll see you guys when I get home. YouTube, well, finally made it home, and uh, yeah, we did pretty good today. We got a bunch of stuff done. We're almost uh, almost done with the other 19.9. Just got a couple little things to button up with it, but uh, otherwise, she's ready to go. And then uh, I gotta get the blue tractor, the Suburban 10 back home, and I gotta do a starter generator belt and an oil change. And then uh, I do have a, a spare uh, plug over there. I don't know if I'll change it. I'll pull the plug and look at it and see how good it, see if it, you know, see how it looks. And if it doesn't look too bad, I'll just leave it. So. But I'm definitely tired. I'm ready to be done for the day, but I did say we would do a uh, cold start on this 19.9 in the first clip. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, I did run it earlier today, so it shouldn't be too hard to start, but let's do it anyways. Sounds like my battery's going dead. Clear it up. Oh yeah, I did change out my shifter, but unfortunately, yeah, still bad. All the other gears worked though, so. she's doing good i did uh i did top off i did have to top off the uh oil because it does for whatever reason seem to have a little leak i know in the last video when hugh pointed this out um that it did look all high so i took took a paper towel and it ended up being maybe like a pint low so i just topped it off so yep she's good she's all good this plow doesn't seem to need to be wire wheeled um, I did end up finding, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I did end up, uh, finding another plow, which you guys saw in the first two clips. I, uh, had that shipped here and obviously that long handled black three point hitch I also bought and had shipped. So, uh, let's go ahead and you know what, let's go ahead and do some, uh, SS 16 cold starts. I haven't started this ever since I, uh, ever since I did the, uh, pressure washing with it or did the pressure washing to it. I didn't, I tried to film that, but unfortunately I didn't, I screwed it all up, so. Yep, still runs good. Still running pretty good. I did, uh, I, uh, scored a, uh, a cultivator, not a cultivator, a, uh, uh, set of disc arrows for this thing. So I have a, uh, I do have a spare white three-point hitch that I'm going to paint, uh, I'm actually going to paint it yellow and stick it on this one with the, uh, the disc arrows. So this one will have a nice attachment. I know, I know the yellow is not factory, but you know what? This tire, or this tractor's already got mods, you know, it's got the tires, and it's got the engine, stuff like that, so. Uh, I'm not gonna run the 330, because I need to add oil to it. And I don't really feel like adding oil to it right now. So, let's do the Kubota, because it's been quite some time. This one shouldn't be too bad, I hope. Go plug it.
Awesome. And it's not charging. Oh well. Oh no, there it goes. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll just leave it at that. It's, uh, I still need to fix that, uh, that belt. But uh, I think we're gonna get that belt ordered soon so we can get it ready for mowing season because I'm actually going to be selling the old uh, 330 here. Um, I'm just kinda thinning out the hoard a little bit. I'm, uh, Looking for something with a little bit lower hours, something that's not as worn out. Uh, I will fix the uh, the wire the uh, wire going to the starter before it goes, but unless someone makes an offer on it, but I probably won't even post it until the wire is spliced and taken care of. But otherwise, this thing runs good. I'll probably get a nice oil change and stuff on it, grease the deck. The deck is rebuilt. The tractor has about 3,200 hours on it. Trans is good, nice and quiet. And, uh, and it's, it does work. The headlights actually surprisingly work. Um, PTO works and pretty much everything on the tractor works. Uh, just does leak oil because, it, like I said, it is higher hours. The tires are meh, but they'll, uh, they'll get you through the season, I hope. Or, I don't know. They'll get you through the season, I'm pretty sure of. Um, but otherwise, that's, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much it. The 330 is going to be sold. I think I might sell my, uh, I think I might sell that uh, other hydro too, or my hydro, just because I'm kind of, I'm kind of not in the, I don't know, I guess I just don't really feel like doing huge resto projects anymore, which is, I guess, stupid, stupid of me to say, but, you know, I'm just kind of, I really would like to find some nice survivors, you know, like, this one's an, this one's a pretty decent survivor, but, uh, I kind of would just like something, uh, like something with power steering, turning brakes, something that's easier to get attachments for and stuff like that. So I'll probably end up looking into like a 318 or a 332 because those are a little bit more in my price range. Most likely a, a lower hour 318 because that's, that's about my price range. I got like a $1,500 price range I'm looking to get. But this summer will probably just be the other 99 and the uh, Kubota. Uh, this Kubota is still obviously going to get sold to my parents because they want it. So they're going to get it. They're going to get it. So yeah, I think uh, I think I rambled, rambled on enough. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. I'll leave you guys with this shot right here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And have a, have a great day.